What it do, baby? We got a racist wife swap going on here. Hold on. A little bit of show. Of black Bro. people and white people wouldn't have that hanging on their wall. This is obviously a I mean, they wouldn't, family. but that's still. I, but they seem like they are clean. They run you. Something. They run you. You wish that your kids can have the discipline like <laughs> First of all, alright, so looking back at it, wife swap okay, is honestly a wild. terrible idea. You take two families, one with no rules and one with too many rules, and make them trade spouses and expect them to not cheat. Which, by the way, they cheat. This show has more controversies than you can- Wait, whoa, 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 the dark side of wife swap, And on. expect them to not cheat. <laughs> which, by the way, they cheat. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. This show has more controversies whoa. than you can imagine, man. I looked up this what? show to do some research for this episode and found out that some kid from one of these episodes killed his mom like 10 years after the episode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In today's yeah, yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. we're looking at that. two families, that. and a big difference between the two is that one of the families is actually racist. I, I don't even they know where they're going. Today, we're looking at the Why? Wiggins family and the Felix family. Let's get this started, man. Each week from across America, two families are chosen. <laughs> it'll they went, they went to the races for that check, though. It's their lives. It'll end them, too, bro. Come on. I don't think that this show helped anybody Bruh. whatsoever. Every family that's gone Not on this show all. seems to Not be worse all. off after now that I think about it. Overprotective niece smothers her teenage sons, needing to know where they are every minute of the day. <laughs> These I motherfuckers are like 35 <laughs> years old and about to go D1. I promise you can stop tracking. Nah, they, they don't even look athletic. Oh, they every move. Like the dude on the has a fucking beard at this point, man. I promise he's going to be okay leaving the house at 6 p.m. Bill is a former Marine sergeant who runs the house hey. like boot camp. You already know without a doubt, that's this motherfucker's entire personality. Yep. His son gets a beer yep. on his chest and he gets like punched in the fucking chest. <laughs> has to drop down and give him 20 push-ups. Oh, I used to be in the military. And the Felix family. Vicky spends more time in the Bunch casino of lazy than she probably. does with her kids. What? That just, that that just fucking what? sucks. Wild. It's just like a really ass mom, dude. What? She has wild. a smile on her face too. Like, yep, I neglect my kids. Bro, I know when that episode aired, she heard that. Bro. She was like, oh. Right. Boy, Dad yes. Jeremy runs the house like a zoo. Jeremy looks like he owns four favorite it. flags and plays Modern Warfare 3. This is one of yeah. those alcoholic deadbeat dads that you would run into on Xbox Live. They'll always Bruh. carry the entire team while having four screaming motherfuckers in the background, <laughs> dude. Their five and nine year olds stay up late into the night as they don't have a bedtime. Okay, dude. Uh, I just want to know how they are keeping how they alive. afforded anything. Because if she just goes to the casino and he stays at home. What about bills? She's wearing That's pants, savage man. as fuck. But on a serious note, dude, your kids need sleep. Bruh. It just sounds like they have really shitty parents, dude. Like, this guy would definitely call me a couple names while playing the Halo hat, 3. Bro. And this woman is like a proud gambler. How are you a gambler but broke? Stop <laughs> gambling. <laughs> Each wife is about to get a new husband, <laughs> new children, I, no way I wonder how that. many marriages Dang. have just been ruined by this show. It's completely obliterated. Some of these motherfuckers, you send their wives away, Bruh. and that's just Bruh. game over, dude. She's not coming back. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, early 2000s TV was kind of gone. Yeah. 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 There's no season something. two. We're gonna have problems in this house. I'm telling you right now. Of course. Oh, he's telling me to talk to the hand. That's disrespecting an adult. Real lives. I think you just ignorant. Hey. All right, let's skip this bullshit intro, dude. This shit is so like 2006. TV used to be so over the top, man. Uh, come on over here, you white people. What? Oh! Trophied in after that. Wow. 15-year-old Breland and 18-year-old LB have to live by Bruh. Nisi's rules, and she's on their case 24-7. Even I was like, always talking to me and my brother, asking us hey. who we at, where we at, what time we gonna be home. What do you he like La Royo. <laughs> he, he listens to La Royo. Where at? What time you gonna be home? To be honest, this isn't even that bad, man. I mean, I thought she was actually on some crazy shit. I thought it was like Bruh. if these guys try to leave the house, they get like fucking shot or something. I don't know. But she just wants to be involved and know where they are so she knows that they're all good. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. That other house, though, the mom is just proudly not there. 
I'm 18 years old and I still have a bad time. That sucks, dick, dude. Yeah, but move the sucks. fuck out if you uh, don't yeah. like it. Uh, I don't you know got, what to tell you. Better you better get the hell out of used to be a sergeant in the Marines, and as far as the boys are concerned, he might as well still Bruh. be in the Corps. As far as I'm concerned, he might as well still fucking be there. It's all he's talked about, and he's been on screen like twice. You think this dude like fought in Vietnam or some shit, man? I swear, dude, if you met one military dad, you've met every military dad ever. That's Except they're all carbon clones of the same motherfucking guy, dude. I spent half my life in the military and Bruh. guided my life and my kids' upbringing through military values. What? Bro, old TV just feel different! It feel way different. Should do some military dad shit, like make his kid do 85 push-ups for spilling water or some hey. stupid shit. It's like they suffered in the military, so, so you got to, Yeah, too. you gotta suffer now. Surprise military yep. inspections of the boys' rooms. Who the fuck e buys USA bed sheets? Why do you even need those, man? <laughs> is it just in case he forgets where the fuck he is? What we got here? Is it clean? Bruh. He has a little white glove thing. And he goes to the TV, swipe across the TV, but he always catches me with the blind. Ah, what is that? They you clean the blinds then! Bro, there's no way in fuck he just tried his life like that. There's a speck of dust on your finger and he has to do 50 sit-ups? That That's doesn't crazy. even almost make sense, That's bro. You crazy. have to put on a white glove for it to show up. At times like this, I kind of want to call my parents and Bruh. thank them, bro, because I never had to do 50 sit-ups for some fucking dust on my blinds. And here we He's have really this doing absolute super doing each and every fucking push up. But let's go ahead and take a look at the you other family because we spent like the yeah, first five yeah. minutes of this video basically looking at these other guys. Bruh. So yeah. It's Nisi and the boys' responsibility to keep the house up to military standards. So Bill can take it easy. There's only one I big dog way. in this house. Man, fuck this guy, dude. Let's go see the other family. If I had to stay home with my children, I would probably be bald because I'd rip every hair out of my head. Hey! Yeah, fuck those little oh. bastards, man. Who needs them? It's almost like you chose to have them. She right. hardly ever sees her kids. She's either sleeping till noon, That's working till wild. midnight in a call center, or gambling in the Ain't community. no way they affording to live. Ain't no way. Well, it was early 2000. It was, you know it was early 2000. You know the hell? Casino till 4 o'clock in the morning. What an awesome family, Bruh. dude. You really, you really gotta love it. Where's Bobby? My <laughs> stomach hurts. Fuck you, kid. She's gambling. Kill yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look <laughs> at this awesome all unemployed money husband away. and see what he has going on. See if he's um even slightly more redeeming than this wife over here. Now, my education, I have an eighth grade education. Oh, and damn. I stay in school because... I hated school. I mean, shit, dude. You Is she taller? No, she wasn't. He was taller. I don't even know. Make it past the eighth grade? I didn't even know what to say to that other than I definitely played against this guy on Xbox. There's no way that I didn't. <laughs> Bruh. Since he lost his job. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just interested in what Mario Kart he playing at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm shoveling manure. Unemployed Jeremy looks after the kids. And How do you get fired shoveling shit? <laughs> it was a shitty situation, boy. Around the house. All right, so let's just do a little recap. Their kids, they spend all their time like playing games or whatever. Our Bruh. children are in their rooms watching television or playing video games seven, eight hours a day. Their dad's a fucking idiot that used that to shovel shit probably. as his job. That that was his literal. I didn't even know that was an actual job. Their mom's always out at casinos, and their family has literally zero rules whatsoever, yeah. man. All I can really say to that is that I Ooh. wonder how these kids in up turning out as adults i mean they had really fucking True. stupid and racist parents i don't think that they went very far but let's take a chance to see oh. how things went when they ended up uh, switching wives inside of these respective households for the first know. time the wives get to see where Bruh. they'll be living Pull up the 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 that black film that black film they got a nice of her reaction is honestly not surprising. A million billion dollars in New York gets you a fucking storage closet. If that. You don't believe me? Look that shit up, bro. The prices don't make sense. But at the same time, I mean, this is where you live when you shovel shit. Before the wives meet their new family, they get to explore their new homes. Girl, you didn't know you were going to the cold? Bruh. Wow, this is nice. The pictures on the wall are of black people and white people wouldn't have. That Why does it matter? I don't even know how to feel about Why does this. It matter? Like, I don't hey, know if I should hey, be offended or what. This is crazy. It's insane <laughs> that somebody can be racist when their husband shovels poop. This woman goes <laughs> on to be genuinely surprised that this is like a clean household because they're black. I can't make this up. Like, what the fuck? Uh, oh my Bruh. god. This room is so clean. Do they not live in here? Yeah, they don't live in here. This is obviously a black family. I bet they seem like they are clean. That's, That's crazy! That's wild, David! That's, That's a wild 
baby. Hey. Hey, she hey. like just so clean. Cause you're nah, nasty. Now nah, nah, don't get me wrong. Is, is my room dusty? <laughs> but it's clean. This guy does. This is a black family, but they seem clean. It's crazy. Considering <laughs> how fucking dirty her home is. Let that yeah. sink in, people, because it's really a life lesson. All right, this woman is a racist, and she Bruh. genuinely believes in her head that black people are just fucking disgusting or something. But look at well, her she's house the disgusting in one. To theirs, their home is absolutely spotless. Her house is dirty as fuck. Her husband shovels poop and has an eighth grade education, and her own hey, kids don't even fucking like her. It really just goes to put into perspective that this woman's a fucking idiot, and that her opinions are extremely. She alarmed. really can't talk trash about anybody. That I was really concerned about is that she likes to use the n-word a lot i don't think it's no it's me he couldn't whoa <laughs> whoa whoa he said it's me it's me it's me it was me, it's me. It was me barry <laughs> Oh, oh. what the fuck? All those Xbox jokes earlier, and I almost felt <laughs> bad for them. He yeah. definitely played. He I've definitely, never genuinely disliked bro. people that I've made a video on before, but at this point, I feel like I almost have to. I mean, they definitely don't fucking like me. Nisi, when I first seen her, I can tell. Huh? Wait, bro. you're black? The guy? Yeah. I almost have to. I mean, they definitely don't fucking like me. Nisi, when I first uh -huh. seen her, I can tell right off the bat. She's a decent woman. She's a clean woman. I don't think of her as the N-word. I don't. <laughs> Who do you think of as the N-word? Who do you think of? Who do you think of? Please tell me. Let us if know. If being undecent and dirty Let makes you know. the N-word, then dude, I have a word for you. Like I said before, man, it's so fucking ironic the way that this family thinks, dude. They are the Bruh. dirtiest motherfuckers on this entire show. Like, come on! You are 35 with a Look fucking up. pizza face. You're 36. You're in like 35 years, man. Normally, what happens if a white person call a black person? A it's on. Oh yeah, man. Okay. It's crazy. Let me go. Oh yeah, bad, bad, bad. This episode probably isn't even that old, man. There's no way this is like a 30-year-old episode of television, even. They definitely could not air this nowadays. There's like zero way to fuck this could be on TV. A part of me surprised that it was even able to be on the time that it aired. Yes. Like, it's not even subtle. These guys Bruh. are blatantly racist and, and proud. I do not get to spend a lot of time with my mom because she's either off to work or on the... They switched That's, That's what I was about to say. I would like my mom to stay home with me more. Dude, her mom is all around such an L. Like, she's a terrible mother. She's a terrible human being. Like, in every single right, she's just not That's cool. Not she isn't even, Jesus. like, a good wife, dude. She Bruh. doesn't even, like, sleep in the same bed as her husband or anything. She doesn't even fucking like the guy. That entire family is in shambles, man. I, I really don't know what to say about you that. married somebody with an 8th grade education. It's kind of like one of those things you don't realize what you have until it's gone. I miss what my do you have? so what? much. What? Girl, shut the what hell the up. What? Turn off this sad ass music. Shut up. You don't even like your family. When's the last time you even like said hi or some she shit? She just bro? missed you the casino. You got your kids at home like, oh yeah, mom's never fucking here. That's just kind of how it is. And there's no way that you miss your husband that you don't talk to either. Yep. I feel like I just need She's to a sociopath. call him. I Bruh. feel like you should stop being racist. I don't know. That's just right, me. Right. Nisi is becoming that. increasingly concerned about sharing a house with Jeremy. He just won't admit that he's racist and forget that he's someone he likes me. Forget that. Dude thinks that he like gets a free pass by being like, oh yeah, I don't like black people, but I mean, you're okay. Like honestly, fuck this guy. And I would say fuck his family, but the kids didn't really do anything. I mean, it's really just him and his wife. They're both very, very clearly just yeah, really, I really see fucking what kids stupid at. people. Vicky has wanna... to prepare a Wiggins feast for 20 family and friends, but it's not just the cooking that's got Vicky worried. Uh, sometimes I feel uncomfortable when I'm around, you know, sir, some black people. <laughs> Look at his face! Look at his face! Look at his face! Well, absurdity! You about to go drill, Sergeant O'Hare. I have a wall up because what? I think you have to prove yourself to me. What, what does she even mean by that? You have You're to prove yourself one. to her? You're the dirty one! You're the one that married an idiot! You're the one that's a horrible mother! You have to prove yourself! That's crazy. What? Like, what the fuck?
thought? Yeah, dude, I don't know how to make any sense out of that shit, but I mean, that's how it's going inside uh, of both uh, households, uh, man. Uh, it's just, uh, they're butting what? heads due to the racism. <laughs> that's it. That's <laughs> literally all that this episode literally. really was about, to be honest. that That's like every single scene. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video other than like, I don't fucking know, like racist wife swap episode or something because this shit was bad, dude. This was crazy. At the end of the episode, like in all wife swap episodes, the families kind of come together and just, you know, oh, the parents just sit and out. talk about yeah. what they can both do differently as parents in the future. Usually the general idea is supposed to be like, you know, since one family is just about always super strict and the other I mean, family's just about always yeah. super not strict, both sides are supposed to just learn a little bit from each other and incorporate it into their day-to-day -day lives and here's how that went for these families. It's the final day of the swap and the wives prepare to say their goodbyes. Oh my god. The kid got braided. She braided that She braided her hair. It's the daughter she always wanted. All I know is I'm gonna hug my kids and I'm never gonna wanna let them go. You better run, cause you know I can't run. I know. Yeah, yeah, that part's cheery and happy, and it's real nice seeing the families right, hugging right. everything. Everything looked all good. But then when they all sat down at that table, man, all hell broke loose. All because this woman decided to just say it how it is and say, hey, yeah. your kids are kind of bad hey. and they need discipline. Let's just go ahead and look at what happened next, she man, because what the fuck? Your two kids are very beautiful for number one, but they have no self-respect. They are so bad. They bad as hell. Let they run you. you. Something. They run oh, you. wish that, that your kids can have the discipline like first of all let, like, me, let me tell you bitch, talk to the hand listen hey. oh wait wait, wait, wait. She, she, called, the word. she called her the she n-word said. she called her the n-word she called her the n-word she called the f-word sure. no no she called her the n-word listen <laughs> listen 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 and the reason why i say that listen to everything you can hear and look at what you can kids are very beautiful for number one but they have no self-respect they are so bad they bad as hell Let they run you, you something they run you, you wish that your kids can have the discipline like First of all, let, like me, let me tell you. Bitch, talk to the hand. Listen, you fat you, you oh, talk bitch, to me like. You see what you didn't hear? We clearly hear the bitch. Oh, I see what you said. Bro. And just like that, oh. they, they all were happily ever oh. after, man. Now, but like I said at the beginning of the video, oh. wife swap, it was not a good idea. I don't know why they made that show, but that shit was entertaining as fuck, man. Really hope you guys ended up enjoying today's video. I'll be seeing you guys. That one wasn't a good idea at all. That was, that was, that was a good idea for their rating. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to Internet City. And you better be following us on Twitch. Or I'm gonna eat some <laughs>